Come on, Ricky. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see the mountain gorillas up close. Chill, Sam. They'll still be there in an hour or two. Don't be so sure. Mountain gorillas are a critically endangered species. Might be all gone by the time you get there. Why are you bringing all this stuff anyway? You know it's only a day's trek. Yeah, do it with a danger magnet. <sighs> Never know what you might need. It's better to be prepared. Yeah, prepared to miss out on seeing the gorillas. OK. Less talking, more walking. This jungle is dangerous, and young male juveniles like you shouldn't wander so far from their elders. We weren't wandering. And we're not juveniles. Well, zoologically, you are on the juvenile end of the scale, and your behavior is very similar to the mountain gorillas I've been studying for 10 years. It's fascinating. Maybe I should study you. <laughs> <laughs> if we're juveniles, does that make you the old silverback? <laughs> That's funny. But no, I am your guide, though, so you do need to do as I say, OK? Yes, yes Cooper. Cooper. Good. Walk on. Walk on. Good for you, Vanilla. Ricky! Ah! Ricky? Are you OK? Yeah, the pack broke my fall. <laughs> Ricky, the backpack caused your fall. Yeah, well, it came in handy. <laughs> Speaking of which, can you give me a hand up? I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying this. <laughs> uh, uh, if I ever get up again, you're going to regret this cruelty. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. You should offload that junk and pick it up on the way back. Are you kidding? The bulk is the main safety feature. Presenting the Ricky McGrath Pensted full Kushner. It's like an airbag for my back. As opposed to the windbag at the front. Hilarious, yet insulting. What is it? Oh, nothing. When you say that, it's never nothing. All right, don't panic, but I don't know where the track is. <laughs> is that all? What? The track's just, um... Well, it's, uh, um... I... <laughs> um... Wow, so falling down a cliff is really disorientating. Yep, and this mist is getting thick. Oh, well, just as well I brought my backpack. It's got a compass, a GPS, map of the mountain trails, my phone, and just for added safety, a satellite phone. Mm. We'll be as good as found in no time. Ah! Come back! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen! I don't hear anything. Exactly. So either the backpack stopped rolling or... Or... It's fallen off a... Cliff. <sighs> Great. So we're halfway up a Ugandan mountain with certain death on one side and a lost trail on the other. Time to call a lifeline? Do we have to? Desperate times. Cooper! Laura's got rules against flying model planes inside the house. Yeah, she has. But Mum's not here. And it's a helicopter anyway. Cho, 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 no, cho, cho, she's cho. not. So unfortunately, while she's out, I'm in charge. Now hand over the controls. But I haven't had a turn yet. Yes. Chop, 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 chop. Watch out for the deadly blades. Come on, you're acting like a bunch of monkeys. You're more like a monkey. Yeah, you're like King Kong. With helicopters buzzing all around you. All right, then. Rawr! Kong angry! Kong win! Hey! Kong eat. <laughs> Kong say, find something quieter to do, like sister. King Kong doesn't talk. Does he? No way. And I think maybe we were wrong about the helicopters. Yeah, it was planes, right? Let's go check on the internet. <sighs> Cooper! 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 Ricky, she would have answered by now if she could hear us. Not if she found a gorilla group. Technically, it's a band or a troop of gorillas. Thank you, animal expert. How about using your knowledge to get us rescued? All right, let's see what resources we've got. Canteen and some sunblock. That's it. It was a day's trip up a mountain. I was packing light. What do you have? 
Well, I had everything. Now I've got, well, nothing. Wait, I've got this. Deodorant. How exactly is that going to get us out of this jam? It'll keep us clean and fresh, see? Fresh. You're nuts, you know that, right? If it's nuts to care about personal hygiene, Sam, then I don't want to be normal. <laughs> Our best bet is to head down the hill. Away from the precipice. Exactly, get below the mist. That way we might be able to find the track again. Might? You mean we might be stuck here? Worst case scenario. <sighs> Good thing we've got plenty of spray left. Come on. put their helicopter where they'll never find it. Maybe now we'll get some peace. April? What's with the map? Hey, ah! I thought you were reading a book. I was, about judo. Turns out one of the key features is the element of surprise. Ah! Oh, I thought you were into karate, not judo. I like to mix it up a bit. Hey, it looks like the mist is thinning out, I think. Did you ever doubt it? With you around? Hey, I don't just draw danger to us. I find ways out of it too, you know. Yeah, usually into more danger. Right now, we should be walking into some hidden lost world where dinosaurs still roam the Earth. Dinosaurs and gorillas exist in the same place. I think I've seen that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Something following us. Something big. <laughs> <laughs> Just go, save yourself. How many times do I have to say it? Every adventure. I'm not leaving you behind to get eaten. It's still nice to hear. Ah! Ah! There you are. What did I tell you about wandering off? We weren't exactly wandering. That's exactly what a male juvenile gorilla would say. <laughs> if they could talk, that is. <laughs> <laughs> really, this risk-taking behavior does need to stop, though. It was hardly risk-taking. We're just heading below the mist. And now you're here, so we can make our way back to the trail, right? Actually, I have... I... Yeah, I've completely lost my bearings. Right. I thought you were the expert around here. As hard as I've tried, I just can't match the gorilla's knowledge of the mountain. Especially when the mist rolls in. Well, why can't we wait for the mist to clear? Who knows what deadly animals are on the way here? Making a beeline for Sam. Oh, perfect timing. What? Can you hear it? Not a thing. There's something out there, something deadly. I think it was maybe. Oh no, it's coming from that way. No, no, that way. Ricky, there's nothing here but mist, mist, and more mist. <laughs> is there such a thing as mist induced insanity? <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is, it's behind that tree. Something's in there, Sam. And it's not human. Is it? Oh, oh, my God! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ow! 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 Oh, I'm sorry, oh. me and birds, it just, it never ends well. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, no, I can't put any weight on it. Oh! Uh, what do we do? Well, if you can't walk, then we're stuck on this mountain. Oh! Sir. Uh. Uh. You have to make that terrible grunting noise. Regulate your breathing in and out. We are carrying a heavy load. Heavy? I'll have you know my body mass index is a very reasonable 23. Although, admittedly, I am aiming for 20. Ah. Oh, ah, oh, oh, ah, easy, oh. Sorry. Yeah. The bugs were, well, bugging me. So it's not just birds, but everything that flies. Flying, helicopters, planes, oh, and zip lines. Yeah, I'm basically land-based. All us humans are, biologically speaking. If you don't want to get bitten by bugs, why don't you just do what gorillas do and cover yourself with dung? Um, mine or theirs? Why don't think the bugs can tell the difference? See, usually I'd be disgusted, but right now... Uh, I'm tempted. If you do, you're carrying a stretcher on your own. All right. Onwards, gentlemen. Oh! Ow! Oh! Okay, and 
Forward. Breathing in. And out. You're not falling right. If it's all right with you, I'd rather not fall at all. Technically, you're the babysitter, so you have to entertain us. Technically, you have to do what I say. I'm too old for a babysitter anyway. You have to use the length of your arms to cushion the fall. We'll try again. Time out! That's the wrong sport. This is a sport? What? OK, OK, what do you want? We've had an hour of extreme sports. So how about some nice, quiet girl time now? Girl time? Yeah, you know, like, a bit of makeup, paint your nails, it'll be fun. Uh-uh, these toes are for kicking. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You've never painted your toenails. <laughs> no. Seriously? <laughs> yes, you are an only girl in a family of brothers. Plus, I don't like nail polish, so. Oh, you would say that. You've had to be tough to survive. Plus, I'm pretty good at it. Ah! Oh, girl time, please. Sure, you've earned it. Oh, we're at the bottom of the mountain. Finally. My arms are killing me. Whatever you do, don't jump for joy. I'm starting to feel a little travel sick. Oh, don't worry. The base camp isn't far from the trail. Dad'll have a good look at your knee and take you to a hospital if you need. Where's the cam? Did Kingston move it? Ricky, more importantly, how did he move it? He's in possessed the strength of ten men? Ricky, we're not near the cam. What? So where are we? <sighs> On the wrong side of the mountain. Oh, yes, what is the time? I'll make a note in my log. I'm using my watch to find north. That way. Which means the cam must be this way. You guys are very resourceful, especially when operating in a group. Yeah, well, we've had a lot of practice. <laughs> so how far do your father's camp? I don't know, but if we keep following the compass, we can't miss it. One, two, three. <sighs> hey, um, we've got company. A white rhino. A lone, aggressive, territorial male by the looks. And it's staring straight at us. Steady, Ricky. Staring isn't charging. And it shouldn't charge us if we don't disturb it. And what would disturb it? Dropping the stretcher and running off screaming, for one thing. OK, let's go with plan B. Slow and steady. We don't want to look threatening. What have I ever looked threatening? by the group's rules. How long is this going to take? As long as we like. Are you checking for head lice? Gross, do you have them? Yes, lots of them. Can we please stop now? <sighs> Not a chance. Nice try, though. Head lice is another name for girl germs. A major problem for the female humans. What are you guys doing? Nothing. And what do the young males of this species get up to? Let's find out. How are we doing? Our visitor is still with us. Uh-oh, not a good sign. What do you mean, uh-oh? We're not disturbing it. Actually, we are. Rhinos have really bad eyesight. I tend to charge at anything unfamiliar. Let's face it, you're the most colourful object on this plane. Not ideal for camouflage, very flashy. Are you trying to attract female attention? I'm so confused right now. Let me translate. Maybe the rhino doesn't like your red pants. Oh, of course it doesn't. Take them off, Ricky. That won't work. I'm wearing red underwear as well. You have red underpants? Well, they were white, but then I washed them with my red pants. Run! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
can't do this much longer. I'm thinking like thoughts. It's not helping. We can't have run a charging rhino. We might not have to. Look. Civilization. Oh, we're running for bulls. Run! Shut the door. Last, the bumping has stopped. Huh. Sorry that the sedan chair service was not up to your usual standard, Your Majesty. No, I didn't mean it like that. You boys have done a terrific job. You saved my neck. After nearly breaking it in the first place. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, great. First aid kit. Bandages. Painkillers. We'll soon have you back on your feet. Oh, place seems solid enough. Should do. Now all we need is an internet connection. Um, a rhino horn's detachable. Poachers. What? This hut must belong to rhino poachers, uh, illegal hunters of rhinoceros horns. And they wouldn't leave their loot here for long. It means they'll be back any minute. Yep. We really need to get out of here. Fast. Bandage it tight and hopefully, with a little help, I'll be able to run. Exactly what I had in mind. Ah, ah. There. Ah. Can you walk? I'll keep up with the group. Now let's get out of here. Let's not. Poachers. Oh! Right ah. We're gonna need more than that. Ricky, give me a hand. Don't take many more hits like that. Oh, the key! Uh, I can lock the door. I don't think that'll help. <sighs> How do we make it stop? With a show of aggression. Like gorillas. Like any animal cornered. from here. That's it. What? Ricky, give me a deodorant. This isn't exactly the time to think about your personal hygiene, Sam. Mine is. I know so really sensitive noses. In fact, the body part responsible for smell is bigger than their entire brain. Yeah, we get it. You're an animal expert. We can talk facts later. All right. <gasps> it worked. Yeah, that's right. You run as far as you like. You'll be the best smelling animal in all the planes. <laughs> yeah, the deodorant works on body heat. Excellent problem solving. Yeah. And for the guy who bought the deodorant? <laughs> People, actual humans with an actual car, we're safe. Wait, we don't know who they are. The poachers. What? What do we do? They're unloading their traps. We don't have much time. All right, Cooper, brace the door. Ricky, come and help me. Huh? Quietly, OK? Quiet. It's a mouse. A field mouse, not a city mouse. They like the hustle and bustle. What was that? Is someone in there? Open the door right now. Ah! 
Time to go. Definitely. We're not safe yet. I hate to say it, but that hut's not going to hold those poachers back for long. Yeah, especially with a rhino on hold. Oh, no, but maybe it'll hold just long enough for the wildlife rangers to arrive. What's the bit there's a phone or radio in the truck? <gasps> Impressive use of tools and problem solving. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were maturing. Uh, thanks. Yeah, calling for help sounds like a really good idea right now. See, isn't this fun? Guess it's not so bad. I'll take that as a positive. My brothers could see me now. <laughs> We should have go time more often. <sighs> Amazing. Is it worth a trip up the mountain twice in two days? Surprisingly, yeah. I admit, I wasn't too keen on the whole trekking up a ridiculously large mountain twice in two days for the whole apes thing, but... But... But, now I feel like I know them. Like I'm at one with them, you know? Land-based, vocal, hate bugs but love to eat. Vegetarian only. And they just hang out. <sighs> These are my kind of animals. Cooper would be proud. Yeah. Shame she couldn't make it. I'll email her. Wait, you have her email address? Some of us are mature enough to have relationships with elder women, Sam. <sighs> oh, look, a juvenile. I'm not surprised you feel a kinship with the gorillas. The amazing fact is they share 98% of the same DNA as us. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs>